Hi, my name is Bernard Sheridan from Power Breakers Golf Academy. Welcome back to the Swing Guru tutorial series. And today what we're going to do is show you how to record a lesson on Swing Guru that you can send to your student. Um, so let's say that you did a live lesson with a student on Swing Guru and you have it all recorded and in your system. You open up your library and choose the lesson that you're going to do. Okay, and you decide how you want to show this to the student in your windows. And that, of course, you can choose any of your windows and how you want to show this information to those students. Okay, I'm going to pick four windows here with a face on and then kind of a down the line here. So we'll do that and get that all ready. And then we have our feet and, and the other information of data. Now, if I'm recording this, I might, you know, go to, go to a takeaway, go to the top, mention something about what's going on at the top with weight shift. I might want to see uh, the weight be, let's say, 70% on right foot or 60% instead of 57 uh, and then on the downswing, I might want to talk about hand path or something of that nature. Um, and then uh, I might want to talk about hip turn, uh, things of like that. So uh, how much are they rotating their hips to impact? Where is their weight shift coming down? There's many things that you can use this for to convey this information to the student. Remember, too, that during all this time frame, all of your tools are available for drawing lines and things of that nature. So you can use those also in this record mode. Now, once you're done and you're happy with the lesson and after it's recorded um, and, and, it, and it plays through and you do what you want to do and you've said everything that you want to say, then you can say, okay, to the student, all right, this concludes our lesson for today. If you have any questions, please email me, and for me it would be at parbreakers at gmail.com, um, and I'll answer any questions that you may have. So then after that's done, then I'll, I'll click End Lesson, and then it, a window will pop up that's going to show me a movie capture, and then what that did is that is going to save this. I can type what I want that lesson name to be. I might type the student's name in there. I can give it any name that I want. I just happen to put this as a test. I put test 22. Now I can click on save only and what that'll do is it'll save it to my desktop in my Swing Guru folder. I can click upload only. That way it won't save to my desktop. It'll only upload it to the web into the Swing Guru cloud. Or I can save and upload, and it'll do both. I'm going to click Save Only, and now that is saving that lesson to my desktop, and it is actually here now popping up and saying, okay, your lesson has been successfully compressed and ready to go. So now I can open that in my browser, and the window will pop up here as the last lesson that I recorded. If I click on that, a little window of it will pop up. Then I'll, I'll click End Lesson. And then that will show me a recording of that. Okay, and my audio will be there. That's what the student will see. So if it's sent to the cloud. If I just want to show it to a student or email it to them, then I can pull it out of here as a file and and send it along so this is uh 209 kilobytes this was a short a short one that i because i just recorded a portion of it but that's pretty much how it's going to work so if you have any questions about this don't hesitate to email me at parbreakers at gmail.com i'm bernard sheridan from parbreakers golf academy your swing guru host helping you